uh, doing Merrick Garland, you mentioned he's now in your old job mm -hmm. as attorney general. <clears throat> there have been critics of him who say that he isn't being aggressive enough around the prosecutions regarding January the 6th. Do you think that's right? No one knows. I mean, you know, I, I have great faith in, in Merrick and in the people at the Justice Department. Um, we won't really know how aggressive they have been until they are before a camera and announcing a decision either to uh, indict certain people or, or not indict certain people. But here's my prediction. A at some point, people at the Justice Department, perhaps that prosecutor in, in Atlanta, are going to have to make a determination about whether or not they want to indict Donald Trump. There is going to be... Would you do it? Well, I think there's going to be sufficient factual information, and I think that there's going to be sufficient proof of intent. And then the question becomes, what's the impact of, uh, of such an indictment? I I'm an institutionalist. Mm -hmm. My initial thought was not to indict the former president out of concern of what, how divisive it would be. Mm -hmm. But given what we have learned, um, I, I think that he probably has to be held accountable. All right, guys, just saw that video. And all I had to say was, wow. Because you know what kills me about the media and about the Democrats? They think people care about the January 6th committee. No one cares. Okay, that's the honest truth. People care about inflation, what's going on with gas, what's going on with uh, food costs going up. That's what they care about. Okay, what's going on with the Janus Committee and the purpose of it, they don't care about it because it doesn't affect them. It doesn't affect their wallet and it doesn't affect their ability to live. That's the honest truth. Whenever you do something like this, it's not because you're doing it because you think the American people wants it done. You're doing it because you're trying to help yourself. That's what the January 6th committee is actually for, is to help the Democrat Party. That's the honest God truth. If it wasn't true, there would actually be Republicans like Jim Jordan and others on this thing. Instead, they got these rhinos like Liz Cheney on there, who don't like Donald Trump and thinks he's destroyed the Republican Party, which I hope he has destroyed the Republican Party and renewed it into an actual party for the people. That's remained to be seen yet. But I'm hoping that's the case. Now, he is a threat to the mainstream media. He's a threat to the establishment in Washington, D.C. And that's the reason they're going after him with this January 6th stuff. Because if you watch the speech, he says, protest peacefully. He didn't have any control over what these people did. But the left and the media acting like he's controlling those people with mental gymnastics and uh, telepathy or something. He didn't have anything to do with that. But yet, they think he needs to take responsibility for other people's actions. But guys, that's left for you. I'd like to know what you think, though. Comment about, down the bottom. Let me know what you think. Don't forget, hit like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Peace.